From ancient civilizations to forgotten treasures buried beneath the earth, these discoveries offer a glimpse into the mysteries of the past. Witness the triumphs and challenges of piecing together our collective heritage, one artifact at a time. Here are the top 15 most incredible archaeological finds. Number 15. The Sword of the Crusaders if you've ever taken the plunge, then you'll know that diving into the depths of the ocean gives you just a tiny glimpse into a totally different world. No one knows this better than Shlomi Katzen, an adventurous yet amateur Israeli scuba diver. Katzen stumbled upon an intriguing hoard of ancient treasures while exploring the depths off the Carmel coast. Among the trove was an astonishing one-meter-long sword that's believed to have once graced the side of a valiant crusader knight some 900 years prior. What's even more fascinating is the rich history embedded into the Carmel Coast's waters. Kobe Sharvet, the director of the Israeli Antiquities Authority's Marine Archaeology Unit, revealed that the area has been a hub for ancient ships seeking refuge during storms, leading to the formation of settlements and bustling port cities over the ages. But how did these treasures manage to stay hidden for so long? Well, the mysteries of the waves and the ever-shifting undercurrents have played a significant role, revealing these long-lost artifacts in a dance with the tides. The sword, encrusted with marine life and plenty of seashells, yet impeccably preserved, offers a thrilling glimpse into a bygone era of chivalry, knights, and epic battles. Excited to share their discovery with the world, the Israeli Antiquities Authority plans to showcase the sword to the public after it's been thoroughly examined and polished. As for Shlomi Katzen, the daring diver, his noble act of reporting the find has earned him a well-deserved certificate of appreciation for good citizenship. Number 14. The Man with the Golden Tongue Scaramanga was the titular man with the golden gun, but who was the man with the golden tongue? In an ancient Egyptian burial ground where rituals were performed with utmost reverence, a stunning discovery emerged. Among the many mummies unearthed, one was bestowed with a remarkable honor, a delicate gold amulet fashioned in the shape of a tongue, allowing the departed to commune with the gods in the realms beyond. Led by Dominican archaeologist Kathleen Martinez, a collaborative team of Egyptian and Dominican experts uncovered 16 rock-hewn burial shafts, revealing a captivating array of mummies clad in intricate cartonnage. The intricate details on the cartonnage hinted at the significance of the entombed, with depictions of the revered Osiris and the majestic Horus, hinting at the high status of these ancient individuals. Delving a little deeper into the secrets of the past, the team also uncovered an intriguing mummy adorned with a protective death mask, designed to guide spirits back to their earthly forms and shield them in the afterlife. The site of the Taposiris Magna Temple itself has long piqued the interest of archaeologists, with the famed Cleopatra's storied connection looming large. Though some tantalizing clues surfaced, such as the discovery of gold-covered mummies from Cleopatra's era and ancient coins minted during her reign, the exact location of her final resting place does still remain a mystery. Number 13. The Antikythera Mechanism Enter the world of the Antikythera Mechanism, a clock-like device crafted by ancient Greek hands, adorned with over 30 intricate bronze gears meticulously handcrafted for celestial calculations. Recent in-depth analyses have revealed a level of sophistication that surpasses even the wildest imaginations, rendering it unmatched for a millennia after its creation. With the aid of cutting-edge technology, including three-dimensional X-ray scanners and high-resolution surface imaging, researchers have delved into the intricate inner workings of this ancient marvel. Beyond those celestial properties, the mechanism ingeniously mimicked the irregular movements of the moon, simulating its elliptical orbit around the Earth through a clever interplay of gears and wheels and a pin-and-slot mechanism. These revelations paint a vivid picture of the unparalleled ingenuity and astronomical sophistication of its creators. But a fresh perspective on its origins has come to light, as newly deciphered inscriptions suggest an earlier construction date between 150 and 100 BC, challenging the previously proposed time frame. The meticulous reconstruction efforts involving 37 gear wheels with seven bearing hypothetical attributes have engendered widespread intrigue and fascination, drawing acclaim from experts worldwide. Initially, it was discovered by intrepid sponge divers off the coast of Antikythera in 1900. This mysterious relic has tantalized the minds of scholars for well over a century. The mechanism is a great reminder that at the end of the day, some secrets will remain in the past, and the secrets of such technology will, for the most part, stay secret. Number 12. The Lady Brook Medieval Diamond Ring 
David Board was just an average guy searching around with a metal detector hoping to uncover something worth just a little bit of scratch. So just imagine his amazement as he unearthed the breathtaking medieval diamond wedding ring preserved in near flawless condition. It's a story that embodies every metal detectorist's fervent wish to stumble upon a hidden treasure. Little did he know that his chance encounter would soon become the center of attention, with the ring estimated to fetch a staggering 30 to 40,000 pounds at an auction. Bord had pulled his metal detector out of the closet just one day before his big find. Just when he was about to abandon hope, though, a faint signal on his detector led him to this stunning artifact buried in the earth. Initially, he mistaken it for a discarded wrapper. This golden relic soon revealed its true identity as a meticulously crafted piece of medieval craftsmanship. Bearing a touching French inscription, I hold your faith, hold mine, the ring is believed to be the precious wedding band of Joan Brooke, gifted by her husband Thomas Brooke back in 1388, a union that brought opulence and prestige to the Brooke family during a period steeped in chivalry and courtly romance. The ring became known as the Lady Brooke Medieval Diamond Ring. Number 11. Mud Bath Sculptures Get ready for one wild spa day. In Tuscany, Italy, a team of dedicated archaeologists unearthed a stunning array of 24 bronze statues dating back over 2,300 years. This find coincides with a significant power transition, making a shift from the indigenous Etruscans to the conquering Romans, offering a vivid glimpse into a pivotal moment in the region's rich history. The idea of a spa typically conjures thoughts of rest, relaxation, and pampering. Yet the recent excavation unveiled an unexpected scene of dedicated researchers meticulously unearthing a hidden trove of ancient treasures buried for millennia beneath layers of mud and natural spring water. This extraordinary complex, originally constructed by the Etruscans and later embellished under the reign of the Roman Republic, stood as a testament to the evolving cultural legacy of the era. Drawing upon the fascinating history of the Etruscans, the ancient Italian civilization flourishing in the regions of Tuscany and Umbria, the discovery highlights their enduring influence on Roman culture and artistic sensibility. Among the array of unearthed statues, the goddess Hygieia, a symbol of health and cleanliness, with a serpentine companion encircling her arm, as well as the revered deity Apollo. The site near Siena once teemed with life, as visitors sought solace and wellness in therapeutic hot springs renowned for their waters. It's steeped in tradition and spirituality, the site's allure remains intact, and in the end is that mineral-rich mud that allows these old statues to find new life thousands and thousands of years later. So now the question is, if someone falls asleep in one of these mud pits, will they stay this young for the next thousand years? If the statues can, well, then why can't we? Number 10. The Treasure of Shangqing Dui In the labyrinth of history, an extraordinary narrative unfolds, recounting the chance discovery of an ancient trove of jade and stone artifacts nestled beneath the fertile soils of China's Sichuan province. The year was 1929, and an average Joe, while just mending a sewage ditch, stumbled upon a collection of ancient treasures. The goods eventually found their way into the hands of collectors, setting the stage for a compelling tale of the forgotten Shangqing Dui civilization. As the decades passed, the shroud of history slowly lifted, revealing more of the enigmatic culture that once thrived along the banks of the Minjiang River. Through meticulous excavations in 1986, archaeologists unearthed two additional pits brimming with wonders from the Bronze Age, jade, elephant tusks, and bronze sculptures, a testament to the craftsmanship and cultural richness of the area. Yet the story doesn't end there. Unraveling the mysteries of this long-lost civilization has long intrigued researchers, compelling them to delve deeper into the origins and the enigmatic disappearance of the Shangqing Dui people. Speculations abound, with one hypothesis proposing an earthquake as the catalyst behind the city's abandonment over 3,000 years ago, leading to the burial of their precious artifacts. Fast forward to the present, where the latest excavation has yielded an astonishing array of relics, including a turtle shell-shaped box and a sacred altar dating back over 3,000 years. This invaluable discovery has ignited a fervor among archaeologists, illuminating the once-elusive culture. A total of 3,155 relics were recovered, which has only further driven the thirst for knowledge, as experts work tirelessly to decipher the significance of this remarkable find, offering glimpses into the bygone era of wealth and artistry. Number 9. The Alaskan Volcano 
The curtain falls on the Roman Republic, and in the annals of history, a surprising accomplice emerges from the distant Alaskan landscape, the formidable Okmok Volcano. Tucked away in its remote haven, it's orchestrated a spectacular eruption in 43 BC, unleashing a cascade of events that forever altered the course of the Mediterranean's fate. From the ashes of this ancient catastrophe rises a tale of environmental upheaval and political turmoil, intricately intertwined on a global scale. As the molten fury of Okmok roared across the sky, its volcanic embrace cast a shroud of darkness upon the Med, plunging the region into an abyss of frigid gloom. The sun, veiled by the ash-laden clouds, ushered in an era of biting cold and unyielding famine. In the heart of Rome, the political stage was already set for upheaval, with the assassination of Julius Caesar serving as a catalyst for civil unrest. But little did the Romans know that across the vast expanse of land and sea, the Okmok eruption was heralding an unprecedented crisis. For years, the mysteries of this distant catastrophe have intrigued scholars, prompting a collaborative effort between climate scientists, historians, and archaeologists to uncover the truth buried beneath the layers of time and ice. A critical piece of the puzzle fell into place, as scientific analysis confirmed that the enigmatic tephra, etched within the ice, bore the unmistakable signature of the distant eruption. The implications of this discovery are echoed far beyond the shores of the Roman Empire. Across the expanse of ancient Egypt, the tendrils of Okmok's influence stretched, casting a shadow over the once great empires. When we think of volcanoes, we often go to something like the Ring of Fire, so the volcanoes existing in a place completely covered in ice kind of changes the way we would think about the world. Number 8. Kotensky 11 The Kostyonki Borshchovo archaeological complex is one of the coolest, most captivating ancient realms full of numerous upper Paleolithic archaeological sites. It's located on the western bank of the Don River in Russia. This tapestry unfolds some 25 kilometers south of the city of Ronsne. The 26 Paleolithic sites within this expanse are numbered as Kotensky 1 through 21 and Borshchovo 1 through 5. Archaeologists working in the complex have uncovered anatomically modern humans at the genesis of the Upper Paleolithic era, predating 40,000 years ago. But a recent discovery uncovered a monument standing proudly atop a mammoth bone circle known as Kotensky 11. Circular structures crafted from mammoth bones grace the landscape, with around 70 of these remarkable formations scattered across Ukraine and the Central East European Plain. These unique features boast a distinctive ring of mammoth bones, often accompanied by sizable pits, their purposes ranging from potential food storage or bone fuel repositories to waste disposal sites or quarries for constructing the structures. Kotensky 11 at large was discovered in 1951 by Soviet archaeologist A.N. Rogachev, but this particular finding came in about 2014, about 20 meters away from the main complex. This circular feature of bones has a 12.5 meter diameter forming a continuous bone circle without an apparent entrance. Excavations unveiled 51 lower jaws, 64 individual mammoth skulls, and remains of various animals, including reindeer, horse, bear, wolf, red fox, and arctic fox. Within the structure, charred wood and non-woody plant remains hint at both the use of wood and bones for fuel and the site's inhabitants demonstrated knowledge of edible plants during the Ice Age, possibly employing them for food, poisons, or medicines, or fabric. Over the 50 charred seeds, stone and flint chips, and more than 300 tiny stone fragments were discovered, showcasing a multifaceted activity of these ancient communities. Contrary to prior assumptions, which associated mammoth bone circles with prolonged dwellings, the study suggests that sites like Kotensky may not have functioned as long-term base camps, as the intensity of activity appears less extensive than expected. Moving on to number 7, Saqqara, the Book of the Dead Scrolls. In the vast and storied sands of Saqqara in Egypt, a recent archaeological revelation has brought to light a captivating chapter in the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead. This discovery, marked by an unearthing of a collection of burial scrolls dating back over 2,000 years, serves as a link to the past, offering insights into the rituals and beliefs that enshrouded the realm of death in the ancient Egyptian civilization. Saqqara, an expansive necropolis just south of Cairo, has long been the epicenter of archaeological intrigue, boasting the renowned Steppe Pyramid of Djoser and a labyrinthine network of tombs and structures. The recently discovered scrolls, a trove of papyrus texts, unfolds narratives and unveil cultural nuances that have lain dormant beneath the sands for centuries. 
dating back to the Ptolemaic period circa 330 BCE and the ensuing Roman era, these scrolls bear witness to the fusion of indigenous Egyptian beliefs with the Hellenistic influences that permeated the region. The Book of the Dead, a guide to the afterlife, was a central theme in these writings, reflecting the Egyptians' meticulous preparations for the journey beyond mortality. These texts were not just simple instructions, but embodied a profound spiritual significance. It wasn't until recent years, though, that advancing imaging technologies played a crucial role in the subsequent analysis of the scrolls. Employing methods such as multispectral imaging, researchers were able to reveal hidden details and nuances that had eluded the naked eye. The significance of the discovery echoes far beyond the physical artifacts themselves. It transcends the tangible pages of papyrus, offering a profound glimpse into the landscape of ancient Egypt. Each scroll represents a chapter in the Book of the Dead, a guide that accompanied the departed through the perilous journey of the afterlife. Number 6. The Tetney Tomb In the heart of Lincolnshire, England, a stroke of accidental discovery unfolded as archaeologists unearthed a rare 4,000-year-old Bronze Age coffin at the Tetney Golf Club, nestled inconspicuously at the bottom of a pond. This extraordinary find, characterized by its preservation and the presence of an exceptionally rare ceremonial axe, offers a unique glimpse into the burial practices of a high-status Bronze Age warrior. The hollowed-out log coffin, meticulously crafted from a single oak log, emerged during routine maintenance work at the golf course in July of 2019. The ceremonial axe, a symbol of the warrior's elevated status, accompanied the well-preserved remains within the coffin. To safeguard these delicate artifacts from the forces of air and light, a team of expert restorers embarked on a race against time, undertaking a meticulous preservation process. Historic England recognized the significance of the Tetney coffin and promptly issued a £70,000 grant to fund the restoration efforts. The coffin, measuring 10 feet in length and 3.5 feet in width, was hewn from a split oak trunk, and its unique construction and contents have unveiled intriguing details about the ancient practices. Packed with yew leaves or juniper branches, the coffin provided a cushion for the deceased, showcasing a meticulous care even in death. The exceptional state of preservation owes much to a protective layer of silt that encased it, shielding the wood from the ravages of time. Hugh Wilmot from the University of Sheffield emphasized the significance of the ceremonial axe, indicating the warrior's authoritative role in the early Bronze Age. The burial mound, subjected to environmental shifts like rising sea levels and coastal flooding, became entombed in silt, becoming an unintended shield against deterioration. Recognizing this cultural and historical importance of the site, the UK Secretary of State designated the Tetney Golf Club location a scheduled monument. As the restoration journey unfolds, experts estimate a meticulous 12-month process for the ceremonial acts and associated fines. And to think, all these English folk wanted to do that day was hit the links, but they may have found a missing link instead. Number 5. The Mount Owen Claw it's the Claw. Well, nearly 30 years ago, a crew of adventurous archaeologists embarked on a journey into the depths of a cave system on New Zealand's Mount Owen. Amidst the darkness, their eyes played tricks on them as they stumbled upon a mind-boggling sight. A colossal, dinosaur-like claw adorned with flesh and scaly skin. In the dim light, it looked eerily fresh, leaving the team questioning whether time itself had taken a break. This outlandish discovery, however, was neither a prop nor a relic from Jurassic Park. It turned out to be the well-preserved 3,300-year-old mummified remains of an upland moa, a colossal flightless bird that once roamed the lush landscapes of New Zealand. The unearthing of this prehistoric avian marvel sparked excitement and prompted further analysis. The upland moa, a species named Megalepteryx didinus, stood out among the giant birds that once dominated the New Zealand ecosystem. While its larger counterparts reached towering heights of over 10 feet, the upland moa was a relatively modest 4.5 feet in stature. Imagine a feathered creature, wingless and tailless, gracefully inhabiting the higher, cooler regions of the country. The saga of the moa began in 1839, when an unusual fossilized bone handed over to John W. Harris, a curious flax trader and nature enthusiast, was gifted by a member of the indigenous Maori tribe. The bone perplexed Sir Richard Owen at the Hunterian Museum in London, and after years of pondering, Owen declared it belonged to a colossal bird, the mysterious moa. Now, despite early skepticism, subsequent findings validated his theory, and moa skeletons began to emerge, capturing the scientific imagination. 
The rise and fall of the MOA played out over centuries. Flourishing in the pristine landscapes, the MOA faced its demise with the arrival of the Polynesians in the 13th century. Humans, with their newfound presence, hunted the MOA extensively, pushing the species to the brink of extinction. Unable to match the pace of reproduction with the relentless hunting, MOAs dwindled, leaving them vulnerable to vanishing entirely. Now the MOA story takes an unprecedented twist towards potential revival. The well-preserved remains, including the Mount Owen Claw, have led to discussions of cloning. Japanese geneticist Anko Yasuyuki Shirota was delving into extracting the DNA from the Moa remains, envisioning a future where chicken embryos could harbor the essence of these ancient birds. Number 4. A City Beneath the Sand In the mystical lands near Luxor in Egypt, an ancient revelation has come to light. A lost golden city that had slumbered in the sand for 3,400 years, emerging as a discovery of unprecedented significance since the unearthing of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. It is a pretty big deal. Led by the intrepid Egyptian archaeologist Sahi Hawass, a team unearthed this hidden gem in September of 2020, and its grand unveiling has captured the imagination of history enthusiasts worldwide. Dubbed the most important discovery in the country, this city buried beneath the sands near modern-day Luxor is rewriting the narrative of ancient Egypt. We modern-day people know so little about the tombs, let alone the afterlife, and so this new golden city may shed some light on the subject. This sprawling metropolis, still only partially excavated, has already yielded a trove of artifacts, including rings, scarabs, and colored pottery, confirming its dating to the reign of Amenhotep III. The team's original quest for Tutankhamun's mortuary temple took a serendipitous turn, uncovering mud walls rising from the sand, offering a zigzag design characteristic of the period. With its storage houses, grinding stones, ovens, meat production areas, and tools remarkably preserved, the site is a time capsule of a bustling Egyptian city in action. Betsy Bryan, a professor of Egyptology at John Hopkins University, hailed it as the second most important archaeological discovery since the tomb of Tutankhamun. Adding to this intrigue, a buried skeleton with outstretched arms and a mysterious rope around the knees raises questions yet to be unraveled. The discovery of a vessel containing boiled or dried meat inscribed with details about the third Hebsed festival provides a glimpse into ancient festivities and culinary practices. The city's active existence during Amenhotep III's reign alongside his son Akhenaten and successor Tutankhamun marks a significant historical puzzle piece. Further excavations, including a cemetery and unopened tombs, further promise revelations about this enigmatic period. As speculation swirls about whether the city holds clues to the mysteries of Akhenaten and Nefertiti's religious shift, the uncertainty adds to the allure of Egypt's ever-unfolding secrets. What else lurks beneath the Egyptian sand? Well, time will tell. Number 3. New Mayan Megapolis Around 3,000 years ago, the ancient Mayan civilization initiated a remarkable journey, marked by the recent revelation of a monumental structure at a newly discovered site in Mexico named Aguada Phoenix. Archaeologist Takeshi Inomata and his team from the University of Arizona uncovered the oldest and largest known structure built by the Mayan people, a raised ceremonial area constructed between 1000 and 800 BC. Contrary to previous beliefs that Maya society gradually evolved from small villages to urban centers, this discovery challenges the notion, suggesting that monumental structures were integral to Mayan civilization from its inception. The use of light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, an airborne remote sensing technique, played a pivotal role in uncovering this hidden treasures in Tabasco, Mexico. LIDAR revealed the surface remains of 21 ceremonial centers, including Aguada Phoenix. The city's layout, characterized by round or square mounds near a long, rectangular platform, mirrors structures in later Maya cities associated with public rituals. Aguada Phoenix itself shows what these people were truly capable of those 3,000 years ago. The city has an elevated rectangular plateau measuring about 1,400 meters long and nearly 400 meters wide, housing a 400 meter long platform. Surprisingly, there are no remnants of a royal class found at the site so far, challenging the traditional assumption that only large settlements directed by kings could execute such significant building projects. Inomata suggests that people living around Aguada Phoenix engaged in a maize cultivation 3,000 years ago. Likely, they joined forces to create a ritual site suitable for large gatherings. 
The absence of evidence for limited access to the vast public spaces at Aguada Phoenix supports the idea that participation in rituals was voluntary and didn't require a centralized government. The discoveries here, including a mysterious buried skeleton, a vessel with inscriptions, and a limestone animal sculpture, contribute to this unraveling enigma of the early days of the Mayan civilization. Number 2. Padmana Baswami Temple Treasure Step back in time to 500 BC, and you'll find the majestic Sri Padmana Baswami Temple. Nestled within the East Ford in the capital of Kerala, India, is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. This ancient temple, showcasing a blend of Kerala and Dravidian architectural styles, stands as a testament to a rich history that extends into the 8th century. Listed among the 108 Vishnu temples in India, the temple holds a special place as a sacred abode of Lord Vishnu, as acknowledged by the Tamilian saints, known as Ashvars. The very name of Tiruvannantapuram, the capital city, echoes the temple's significance, translating to the land of Sri Anatha, Padmanabhaswami, where Anatha reclines on the serpent. However, what sets this temple apart is the mystique surrounding its vaults. Legends whisper that the treasure within these vaults could potentially alleviate the world's challenges, yet an ancient curse binds the hidden riches. Unique among Kerala's temples, it's governed by the royal family of Travancore, distinguishing it from others. The treasured vaults remain shrouded in secrecy until 2011, when the Supreme Court, forming a committee of five members, entrusted the temple's administration to ensure transparency. Led by Vinod Rai, a former controller and auditor, a committee audited the temple's properties, assets, and accounts. However, the opening of Vault B was postponed until other vaults were thoroughly examined. The temple's underground vaults, labeled A to F, conceal a trove of historical riches, uncovered by archaeologists in 2001. Vault A, holding gold coins dating back centuries, including those from Napoleon's era, showcases the temple's historical wealth. Vault B, steeped in protection, features an impressive array of gold treasures, guarded by a serpent and yakshi carvings as warnings. Vault C and D house gold and silver jewelry, while E and F store utensils and ritual items. Among the mesmerizing discoveries are a nine-foot gold necklace, one ton of rice gems made with gold, and a three-and-a-half-foot-tall golden statue of an elephant. The grandeur extends to a gold statue of Mahavishnu adorned with diamonds, rubies, and precious stones, but the entire fortune has been appraised at a staggering one trillion dollars. Number 1. The First Animal Meet Ikaria Warrior Osha, an unassuming teardrop-shaped creature barely half the size of a grain of rice discovered in the rugged outback of South Australia. Fossil hunters believe this diminutive entity resembling a jelly bean is a distant relative of humans and a variety of animals. The team unearthed these fossils in rocks estimated to be at least 500 million years old, offering a rare glimpse into the early roots of bilateral organisms. These tiny fossils, although near the limits of resolution, suggest a creature closely related to the earliest known ancestor of advanced animals, providing intriguing clues about its foraging behavior through sediment in search of food. Bilateral organisms characterized by a front and back, a symmetrical left and right side, and often posing a gut with openings at each end, include humans, pigs, spiders, and butterflies. In contrast, creatures like jellyfish lack these distinct features. Dr. Scott Evans of the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, a co-author of the research, highlights the significance, stating that this finding possibly unveils one of the oldest bilateral organisms in the fossil record, making it an early kin in the diverse tree of bilaterian life. Unlike most animals of its time, more than a hundred fossils of this type were found, showcasing impressions of the soft-bodied creature within the rocks. This rarity challenges previous evidence that relied on traces like burrows. Measuring between 2 to 7 millimeters, it displays a unique feature, a large and small end, signifying a distinct front and back. This organization, akin to creatures with heads and tails today, provides a crucial clue into the evolution of bilateral organisms during the Edicarian period. Analysis of the burrows reveals its likely movement through sediment, resembling an earthworm's contractions. The creature probably had a mouth and an anus connected by a gut, feeding on deceased animals and organic matter. The burrows also indicate the creature's ability to sense its environment, offering new insights into our oldest bilaterian ancestors. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.